Hello everyone, this is Jay Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation from higher order linear differential equation. So let's get going. Problem. Solve d power 4 y by dx power 4 minus y equals 3 power x cos x. So firstly, let's find order and degree of the given differential equation. Identify the highest derivative here. d power 4 y by dx power 4 is the highest derivative. So our order will be 4 and Highest power of the highest derivative is our degree degree is 1. Okay. Now coming to the problem. Given differential equation. d power 4 y by dx power 4 minus y equals to e power x cos x. We know that d is a differential operator. Then d square will be d square by dx square and d cube will be d cube by dx cube and d power 4 will be d power 4 by dx power 4, right? Now we will write the given equation in operator form. So firstly, Write d power 4 y by dx power 4 as d power 4 y okay, minus y. Since d power 4 by dx power 4 is d power 4 equals to e power x into cos x. Now, take y common from these two terms. We will get d power 4 minus 1 into y equals to e power x into cos x okay consider as equation 1 therefore equation 1 is in operator form f of d into y equals to q where f of d equals to d power 4 minus 1 and q equals to e power x into cos x. Now we need to find general solution to this equation which is given by y equals to yc plus yp. Here yc is a complementary function, yp is a particular integral. We will find yc using the roots of the auxiliary equation of the homogeneous equation of this or this given non-homogeneous equation. Simply by putting RHS to 0, we will get f of d into y equals to 0, which is a homogeneous equation of this non-homogeneous equation. And we will find y p using 1 by f of d into q. We know that the auxiliary equation of f of d into y equals to 0 is f of m equals to 0 where f of m equals to we have f of d d power 4 minus 1 let's replace differential operator by m so that we will get m f of m equals to m power 4 minus 1 then our auxiliary equation becomes m power 4 minus 1 equals to 0 let's find roots now we will write m power 4 as m square whole square minus this 1 as 1 square equals to 0. Now this is of a square minus b square form. We can write it as a plus b into a minus b equals to 0. Now we equate each factor to 0. From m square plus 1 equals to 0, we will get m square equals to minus 1, then m equals to plus r minus square root of minus 1, which is equal to plus r minus, since square root of minus 1 is i, so we will get plus r minus i from m square plus 1 equals to 0, now coming to m square minus 1 equals to 0, we can write this 1 as 1 square and this is in a square minus b square form, so we can write it as m plus 1 into m minus 1, 
again equate each factor to 0 from m plus 1 equals to 0 we'll get m equals to minus 1 and from m minus 1 equals to 0 we'll get m equals to plus 1 right then m equals to minus 1 and plus 1 so the roots are m equals to minus 1 plus 1 and plus or minus i okay or from m square plus 1 equals to 0 we got plus or minus i and from m square minus 1 equals to 0 we got minus 1 and plus 1 right or m equals to minus 1 1 plus or minus i so we got two distinct roots and a pair of complex conjugate roots therefore m equals to minus 1 plus 1 plus r minus i are the roots of our auxiliary equation two roots are real and distinct and this one is a pair of and the other two are a pair of complex conjugate We know that when two roots are distinct, say m1 and m2 are distinct roots, then yc will be c1 e power 1 root into x plus c2 into e power another root into x. What happens if we have a pair of complex conjugate roots? If a plus ib is a complex number, then its conjugate will be a minus ib. If a minus ib is a complex number, its conjugate will be a plus ib. So we call a plus r minus ib as a pair of complex conjugate. So here we are having m equals to a plus r minus ib. So we call a plus r minus ib as complex conjugate roots, right? If we have m equals to a plus r minus ib, then y c will be c e power a x into one constant. Already we have used c1 and c2, so let's take c3 and c4 here. One constant into cos b x plus c4 sin bx right now let's write a complementary function yc equals to firstly i'm going to write for the real and equal distinct roots real and distinct roots c1 e power 1 root into x plus c2 e power another root into x plus now let's write for plus or minus i okay here real part is 0 when real part is 0 we'll get e power 0 into x which is equal to e power 0 into c3 cos bx plus c4 sin bx right we know that e power 0 is 1 so we'll get 1 into c3 cos bx plus c4 sin bx which is c3 cos bx plus c4 sin bx right now let's write 4 plus or minus i so for b equals to 1 we'll get c3 cos x plus c4 sin x then y c will be c1 e power minus x plus c2 e power x plus c3 cos x plus c4 sin x we got y c here let's find particular integral now We'll find particular integral using 1 by f of d into q. We have f of d and q where f of d is d is power 4 minus 1 and q is 
e power x into cos x. So this is all. 1 by f of d into e power ax into v form, right? Now, we'll shift e power x towards left by replacing d with d plus a. And later, we'll operate v with 1 by f of d plus a. So, let's find d plus a for a equals to 1. So simply compare e power x with e power ax. Then, for a equals to 1, we'll get d plus 1. Okay. Now, shift e power x towards left by replacing d with d plus 1. Okay. Into cos x. Let's expand d plus 1 power 4. We can write d plus 1 power whole power 4 as d plus 1 whole square into d plus 1 whole square. Right? We know that d plus 1 whole square is d square plus 1 plus 2d. Now just multiply the terms. d square into d square is d power 4 plus d square into 1 d square plus d square into 2d is 2d cube plus 1 into the whole term d square plus 1 plus 2d plus 2d into d square is 2d cube plus 2d into 1 is 2d, plus 2d into 2d is 4d square, which is equals to d power 4. Now add the terms involving cube firstly. 2d cube plus 2d cube is 4d cube. Now terms involving square. d square plus d square plus 4d square is 6d square. Now coming to d. 2d plus 2d is 4d plus 1. Or use Pascal triangle to find the expansion of d plus 1 whole power 4. Okay. We will get d power 4 plus 4d cube. 4d cube plus 6d square plus 4d plus 1. Now coming to yp, yp becomes e power x into 1 by d plus 1 whole power 4 expansion is d power 4 plus 4d cube plus 6d square plus 4d plus 1 minus 1 into cos x. Here plus 1 minus 1 gets cancelled then yp becomes e power x by 1 by e power x into 1 by d power 4 plus 4d cube plus 6d square plus 4d. See, this is of 1 by some function of d into cos bx form. Or we know that we have 1 by f of d into cos ax form, right? So this is of that form. So far, just compare it with 1 by some function of d into cos bx and for b equals to 1, d equals to 1, we'll find d square which is given by minus of b square which is equals to minus of 1 square is minus 1. Now let's see what happens if we replace d square by minus 1 in the denominator. Before replacing d square by minus 1, consider this denominator part d power 4 plus 4d cube plus 6d square plus 4d. Always remember that the denominator must be non-zero. If we get denominator zero, we'll just get 1 by 0 into cos x form. Since 1 by 0 is undefined, so total term becomes undefined. So always we should get the denominator non-zero. Now, write this d power 4 as d square into d square plus 4 into write d cube as d square into d plus 6d square and plus 4d. Now replace d square by minus 1. We will get minus 1 into minus 1 plus 4 into minus 1 into d plus 6 into minus 1 plus 4d. This is equals to minus 1 into minus 1 is 1 plus 4 into minus 1 is minus 4 into d. 
plus into minus 1 is minus 6 plus 40, right? Here minus 40 and plus 40 gets cancelled. And 1 minus 6 is minus 5, which is non-zero. Before replacing d square by minus 1, let's write d power 4 as d square into d square and d cube as d square into d. Okay? Now, let's replace d square by minus 1. Then yp becomes e power x into 1 by d square into d square plus 4 into d square into d plus 6 into d square plus 4d into cos x is equals to e power x into 1 by minus 1 into 1 is 1 minus 4d plus into minus minus 4 into 1 is 4 into d is 4d plus into minus minus 6 into 1 is 6 plus 4d into cos x here minus 4d plus 4d gets cancelled and we'll get 1 by 1 minus 6 is minus 5 into cos x. We can write it as e power x into write 1 by minus 5 as minus 1 by 5 into cos x which is equals to minus e power x by 5 cos x or minus 1 by 5 into e power x cos x. This is a required yp. Therefore, yp equals to minus e power x cos x by 5. Now, let's write general solution. The general solution is given by y equals to yc plus yp. Then y equals to yc, we are having c1 e power minus x plus c2 e power x, plus c3 cos x, plus c4 sin x. And yp is minus e power x cos x by 5. This completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equations in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.